Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in. My name is Amy and I am super excited to welcome you to what we've been calling Cookie Concert 2.0. Each year my friends at the Imperial Symphony Orchestra produce an amazing concert for folks just like you. There's cool music, instruments that you can touch and try, and of course, cookies and juice from our friends at Publix. Well, this year, the symphony is safe at home, just like you are. So they got together and decided to create a concert from their homes to your home so we could all enjoy it together. And Publix even delivered us an awesome cookie recipe so you can make it while you watch the video, just like I'm doing. Ask an adult to help you click on the link in the description to find the recipe, to find all sorts of other resources, including instruments that you can make with things you find around the house. First, I wanna introduce you to Mr. Iskra. For those of you who've been to cookie concerts in the past, you know he's the sound wave guy. He's here to tell us all about sound waves and the energy that they use to travel to our ears so we can hear the sounds created by the instruments. I always learn something new from Mr. Iskra. Hello everybody, this is John with the ISO. And today we're gonna to be listening to ideas and thinking about ideas of science and music or the physics of sound. But before we get started, I have this 100 year old sousaphone and I'd like to play you a song that I bet you already know. <laughs> But something had to happen between the bell of this sousaphone and your ear. Now I'm going to pretend that we are in, a, in the same auditorium and there's not all these electronic uh, screens and microphones and speakers around us. So we're just going to try to consider what happened between this sousaphone bell and our ear that heard the bingo song. Do you know what happened? Can you imagine? I wonder if you know already. Some of you have already guessed it was sound waves. You said, yeah, that was a sound wave coming out. Now, we hear the sound waves, of course, but do you, can you smell it? What other senses can we use? The smell of a sound wave? No. Can you taste a sound wave? No, not particularly. Can you feel a sound wave? Well, yeah, you can. Sometimes you hear music that's loud enough. You can actually feel it in your own body. But today, I would like for us to see a sound wave and mess around with it. Even if we play the guitar, the violin, or the ukulele, we can have strings, we can feel the sound in our fingers, but when we touch the strings, they stop resonating. They stop, the music stops, or the music fades so fast, or if you look at the string, it's too tiny to see. So we're gonna take a string made of rubber, slow it down to about four times, four motions a second, and experiment with it. Are you ready? Here's the machine we're going to work with. It's an old scroll saw with a green rubber string attached to it. I'll turn it on and we shall tune it a bit by stretching the string. I bet you some of you have tuned a guitar or a violin. You know you have to tighten the strings so they resonate correctly. So we're going to pull this a little bit tighter. We can already see there's some sp green spaghetti look to it. And then if we pull it tighter yet again, you'll see it organizes into what we think is of as a picture of a sound wave. Now sound waves really don't look exactly like this, but before this pragmatic experiment, this is plenty close enough. Maybe you see something looks like three eyeballs, with like an X in between them here, and an eyeball here. Are there really a string on top and the bottom? Are there two strings? Did this one string of green rubber become two strings? Well, no, it's just moving so fast our eyes are tricked. So if we touch this string somewhere along this line, I'll try to make it large again, there it is. If we touch it at what's called the note point, which is here, nothing much happens to the sound wave. But if we collapse it at the antinote point, you can see the wave just disappears. Here's where the energy is. Here's where there's no energy. So we take the energy out and it goes away. 
in looking at that moving string, we say that that's sound. But in looking at a string like this, which is not moving, which is a straight line, we would call that silence. You see, we have to know both sides, sound and silence, to make sense, scientific sense, physical sense, of how our ears work, how that sousaphone work. And I'd like to leave you with another, one more song, and I'll leave you with a challenge. We explored the sousaphone and the sound way, but now we'll explore this flute. Maybe you call it a recorder. And my challenge to you is, well, how does this work? this work. See you next time. Hmm, how do you think a recorder works? You can try some experiments yourself using the DIY oboe activity you can download from our Cookie Concert 2.0 resources kit. Just follow the link. Speaking of oboes, do you know which section of the orchestra includes the oboes? That's right, it's the woodwinds. You can also find flutes and clarinets and bassoons in the woodwind section. Let's see if you recognize this song. The woodwind section is playing for you in this clip. job, didn't they? Up next, let's see what the strings have in store for us. Look for violins, violas, cellos, and even the big stand-up bass.
Wow, aren't they beautiful? The strings are so good at long, beautiful notes. They kind of sound like a ballet dancer to me. The brass instruments in the next clip are gonna sound very different. You'll see trumpets, French horns, trombones, and a tuba. Let's see what their music makes us think of. musicians are superheroes. Did you hear how many notes they played? And some of those instruments only have three keys. Well, this only leaves us with one more orchestra section. Do you know who they are? That's right. It's the percussion. Let's see what they have in store for us. sure looked like they were having a great time, didn't they? And I really liked all of those neat rhythms. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this time together as much as I have. I've just about finished baking all of my kitchen pantry cookies from our friends at Publix. Aren't they amazing for helping us put this video together today? Let's give them a big round of applause and a heartfelt thank you and make sure that you download the recipe so that you can enjoy one along with me. So now that we've come to the end of our video, I think I'll grab one of my cookies and sit back and watch a special encore performance from our percussion department. Thanks for joining us. See you later.